So folks, it's your boy Naptown. We all know that by now. I can just stop with that bullshit intro, right? Sorry about my voice and shit. I feel like fucking absolute shit today, but um I got up this morning and saw I had a video response to my uh my rant about the hypocrisy and about Sugar Shane and Floyd and Pack and all that. Uh, and I watched it right up. I, I watched the video. Um, I didn't take any offense to anything you had to say to me or my video in particular. Um, I ain't like that, man. Um, to anybody out there, I ain't like that. I'm not on here to start beef and shit like that. I don't take it too personal. The video I made, yeah, it was personal because it was personal because of a video I had already made and got a bunch of shit for. And then it's like some of you guys out there were making the same kind of videos, but there wasn't the same kind of... Uh, outrage I guess against y'all as there was against me basically that was my point it wasn't that you guys making the videos are hypocritical it wasn't that Slideways or Rilo or anybody who put shitty shame in the title of their video was being a hypocrite that's not what I was saying I was saying that the community that when they saw y'all's video they didn't attack you like when they saw my video and felt they had to talk shit to me. That's what I was saying. The commenters basically is is what that video is directed at. I don't know it wasn't really that clear. But what I'm saying is when I caught a bunch of shit, y'all aren't catching the same kind of shit. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I agree with a lot of your guys' views about Shane Mosley. I didn't want him to fight back yet. I did want him to fight Mayweather. So there is a difference. Right, I understand that. But the outcome and the way they fought and the way Shane fought both fighters was basically the same. And while I don't think Shane deserved the pack fight, um, it still turned out the same as the Mayweather fight. So I'm just saying I don't think that Mayweather deserves more credit for beating Shane uh, than Pacquiao. I think... Neither one of them deserve much credit at all for beating Shane. You see what I'm saying? I don't think Floyd deserves to get more credit because he did it after Margarito. Uh, I don't think that's right because even though Shane Mosley was coming off that loss to, or that, that knockout of Margarito, that was still 15 months removed from fighting um, Mayweather. 15 months, over a year since that had happened. And a lot can happen, man. Um, first and foremost, Margarito was tailor-made for Mosley. Margarito gets hit, Mosley's fast and strong, knockout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but he fought Mayweather and Pacquiao the same way, which was not warrior, cowardly, and, and shitty, and boring, and just not engaging. He wasn't willing to engage either one of them with much consistency. That's all I'm saying. It was the same fucking fight, just two different opponents. So why is it okay, you know, for you guys to make the video saying, you know, basically fuck Shane and how shitty he is. You know what I'm saying? But not have to take as much heat as I did when I made the video after Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? That's all I was getting at. It wasn't that Rilo or Slideways, you know, that I was mad at y'all personally. That wasn't it. I don't no, <laughs> that ain't it at all. I disagree with some some of the things y'all say sometimes, but that has nothing to do with the video I made. Nothing at all. If I disagree with something y'all say, I always put it on your comments or something. So that wasn't it at all. So I watched Rilo's video, and then down in the comment section, it's all talking about race, because at the end of the video, it was about race and all that. And since my video didn't have nothing to do with that, I just kind of left my shit at that. But... I don't know if this whole race issue is really about race. Uh, I was chatting with Pool Counter, Pool Counter TV, when he did his uh, Uncle Tom video, and I was just asking questions. So the Pool Counter TV, I was just asking. Uh, any previous video and the questions I was asking you were completely unrelated. Um, I was just asking questions to better understand the topic because if I don't ask questions then I won't know. You dig what I'm saying? I don't know if this whole 
race issue is really about race. And let me let me throw something else out there. What about nationality? Is race and nationality so intertwined that we're either treating them the same way or even though they're two different things we act as if a nationalist is a racist and vice versa I mean is that how it's coming across I just want to know I want to get this shit cleared up in the community because when I joined this community this kind of bullshit this was barely even a fucking topic <laughs> I mean the first discussion we had about race was when blood boxing sent a shout out to the YouTube boxing community um, and it was about pack tards and how much heat he was catching, you know what I'm saying, and all the end bombs and all that shit that was going on. That was the first time we started this discussion, and now it's just morphed into this ridiculous thing. There's no, there's no clear water to swim in when we're dealing with this conversation about race and Floyd and Manny and pack tards and flow mos and shit. The water, like I told Blood, the waters are murky now. You can have a valid point. There's been plenty of video, even mine, where there's been a valid point followed by haterism. <laughs> you can't combine the two because even if you're bringing up valid points, all that shit goes away once you bring up, you know, the fucking race card or once you fucking bring up the, the, all the complete subjective bullshit that's been happening. The waters are murky. The argument, the discussion, there's not going to be an end to this shit. Alright, so I'm just, I just wonder, you know, is, is it really about race? Like, with a pack tard loving Pacquiao so much, is that about him being Asian? Or is it about him being Filipino? That's what I want to know. I want to know how everybody is viewing this. Because Full Counter told me in the comments that if a Basically, if a black dude's rooting for another black dude, whether or not that black dude's his favorite fighter or not, he should always want that black dude to do well because they're the same race and you got to back your race. Well, as a white dude, I don't understand that. I, I admit that. I'm not going to pretend like I understand that because I look at other people as strangers, other white people. They're fucking strangers. Unless they're really in my family, then they're fucking strangers. You dig what I'm saying? I don't... I don't root for a guy just because he's white. <laughs> so it confuses me. So I'm asking questions. And it seems like, uh, at least with him him specifically, um, the answers I'm getting, it seems to be that he wants us to, to look at black America as a, its own country. I mean, if 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 I under, if I'm if I'm misunderstanding the whole concept, please come tell me. Like I said, I won't understand unless I ask questions. So this is how my view is as of right now. That Black America should be treated as a separate separate and individual country, much like um, how we talk about Mexican Americans or Puerto Rican Americans or you know anything like that. How they continue to root for Mexico, Puerto Rico. Um, because that's about nationality. That's not about race. <laughs> so, okay. So if we put black, if we treat black America like it's its own separate country, then what, are, I mean, what, <laughs> where does that lead? Doesn't that just make the waters more dark, the more mud in the water? It's, it's even less clear to me how we're supposed to go about debating this topic or, or I'm not even sure if we should still be debating this topic I mean I just don't know anymore <laughs> when I joined YouTube it was about boxing and just boxing and talking about fights and arguing about who's gonna win and why and how they were gonna win and all that shit that's all it was about that's it I didn't see shit about race and nationality and all this other bullshit I don't fucking get it so does race and nationality go hand in hand because I know what you say, you know, a what's in Asia? Asians. Yeah, but not all Asians root for Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? Filipinos are going to root for Pacquiao because it's their fellow countrymen. You know what I mean? I would understand more if you 
were to come and say that you root for an American fighter just for him being an American, whether it's black or white. So you root for Kelly Pavlik the same as you root for Jermaine Taylor. You see what I'm saying? They're both American. They're just different skin tone. <laughs> but that's not how it is, is it? <laughs> and, and like I said, I don't understand because I personally don't have the same view, I guess. I, I'm confused about the whole topic in and of itself. And, and when I made my sh sh the shame video I just made a little while ago, it was... It was all to the commenting, the, the, the community, really, the community at large, how they're treating it as, it's, as they're treating the Shane Mosley shit as it's okay now because he fought Pac, but it wasn't okay when he fought Mayweather. This is a whole different subject. And because I was watching Rilo's and because I watched Pull Counter TV and because I watched Slideways, I want to start talking about this as a dude who doesn't understand the concept of racial pride. Is that the best way I could put it? Like, black and brown pride? I mean, sticking together like a community, like a family? Is that how it's like? I don't get it. Because as a white dude, I look at other white dudes as complete fucking strangers. And I don't care about them just because they're white. I don't hope they do well just because they're white. I don't, I don't get that. That's not me. I can't do that. <laughs> I just root for them. If you got red skin, yellow skin, black skin, brown skin, or white skin, if I like your style or I like you as a fighter, then I like you. That's it. <laughs> um, maybe this is a little jumbled and shit and I'm addressing too many topics at once, but I just want to understand where all this shit is coming from. I know damn near all y'all have had beef with Vince Willowbass at some point in time. I've never had a beef with him. Maybe it's because the shit he's, he's never addressed me in a video or argument, you know, like he's addressed some of y'all. But at the same time, the biggest crime I can see that he's committed is, is asking a bunch of questions that are touchy or insinuating, you know, hot button topics. <laughs> you know, just, I don't know. This whole fucking discussion has become so fucking confusing to me that I don't know if I'm supposed to have a side or which side to pick or whether I'm supposed to stay the fuck out of it because I ain't black or I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore I'd just rather just go back to just making videos just about the fights but it seems unavoidable right now to be talking about race and fights in the same you know in the same sense I hate a packed hard as much as anybody else. Yeah, I don't like the term because it, it's, it, it can be used and it has been used to describe even some YouTube posters who have expressed a little bit too much like for Pacquiao, like the boxing voice. Some of y'all call him a packed hard and some of y'all call him an Uncle Tom. I like the boxing voice. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I've, I've been watching the boxing boys. I don't always agree with the shit he says. And if I don't, I'll put it and tell him that I don't agree with it. But, I mean, just because he's a fan of Pacquiao and really hardcore about it doesn't actually make him a Pactard. I mean, he talks about other shit too and he seems pretty intelligent. Um, but, you know, like this, like I'm confused. I don't know what topic to talk about. Maybe it's because I'm sick as shit. So, here, I just want a couple things, a couple explanations. One, this is a shout out to any of the commenters who were on my page when I made the Mosley Mayweather post fight and who talked shit to me. <coughs> Can you please come explain to me why it was bad then, okay now? Okay, first and foremost. So, that out of the way. Second, when it comes to race and nationality, is it the same thing? Are we supposed to consider it the same thing? I don't think so. Somebody please explain that shit. And as far as this whole race issue with it's because you're black that you hate Pacquiao or any of this bullshit. It could be true. It could not be true. I don't know. I just got to ask. Somebody got to explain this shit to me. I don't understand it at all. <laughs> not at all. Mm -hmm. 
Ugh, I fucking hate being this sick, dude. Alright. I guess I'll go put this online. Put it on the tube. And see who answers me from there. <laughs> Nappy one. Deuces.